that they're paid by a con. And they'll say, We have AEW Collision to talk about. And I also saw Rampage. It was a pretty good show. The only problem was the uh, crowd was starting to get tired. Mm. But they did come to life for the main event. I think because we got Prince Nana dancing to Swerve's music again. Always helps. Always helps. Christian Cage dumps him outside and steals the pin to pin his own lizard and officially become the TNT champion. Luchasaurus needs to parade him on the shoulders drop back for the electric chair, turn on him, become a baby face, and, and ultimately win the title and actually get to be the champion. Don Callis is, is a revolting dick, right? But he cuts a very good promo. Christian That's Cage. That's your fucking revelation? Yeah, it's my... Dad. Thanks, thanks, Vinny. Yeah. Well, I'm an expert, you see. Don Callis, great promo. Yeah, it is. Dagan here notes that every RVD video that AEW has ever uploaded to their YouTube page is exactly 420 in length. How about that? Has anyone pointed out that Kyle Fletcher has like the exact same haircut and earring as Bobby Briggs on Twin Peaks? Nope. It's never amazing. thought about amazing. it once. They're supposed to be the best team in the world. And they're doing open challenges, accepted by, you know, randos, and almost losing week after week. What is the end game here? What the fuck is going on? Why does he not want her I to manage I have no him? idea. This so, is stupid. Something about God and, and temptation. This is outright and- irritating and stupid. Not a fan. I have nothing against the righteous. MJF is the world heavyweight champion of AEW. He is wrestling on a pay-per-view in a Ring of Honor tag team title match against Vincent and Dutch. He made some comment about this uh, show in Seattle that we will all be going to. Yes. It's going to be the end of some era. Do you think TK is trying to get Ring of Honor on max with all the champions it currently has for ROH? I don't understand that question at all. I think his question is, is Tony Khan putting the Ring of Honor champions on AEW TV so much in an attempt to get a Ring of Honor TV show on Dark? On on, on, uh, on Max. Which makes more sense than Dark. <laughs> uh, I was going so well until literally the Should last one. Should we word. just start over? Craig showed up. We thought you were gone for two weeks. Hope but- you had fun, Craig. I did, thank you. We do too. <laughs> do you? Do you really? Well, of course we do. It's just ridiculous. Craig, we just want you to know we didn't hope you had a terrible time. Granny, you know you're a week away from being 94 years old? No. Yeah. What do you mean, no? Oh, Not you're a month. Me. Sorry, you're a month away. <clears throat> Can I get 20 minutes and turn her off to it? I just want to see what it's like in there. That's You'd awesome. have a lot of fun, brother. I'd be laughing my ass off. Would you rather walk down the aisle with The Undertaker as his manager or pin Brian after finishing him with a tombstone? I was going to say, Granny, the question is, would you rather walk down the aisle with The Undertaker as his manager or as his bride? As his bride. (laughs) Would you rather be sticky all the time or itchy all the time? There's a lot of silly things you could do if you were sticky all the time. (laughs) That's sure. (laughs) Would you rather eat fries without ketchup a turkey sandwich with, without mayo, or spaghetti without Parmesan cheese. You can put some uh, some of that mozzarella on that. Uh, yeah, on that uh, s- spaghetti. spaghetti. I could put mozzarella on it. Mm-hmm. That's what I literally just said. I wasn't listening. I know you never do. I was thinking about being sticky. <laughs> Tim's okay. gonna give that sticky guy fifty bucks. <laughs> yes, Enjoy your sticky, itchy cast, Jason Kulik. Did you decide it was a contest? I guess you told me. I said... I, I know, you can't was... tell me later. Like, we had everyone thinking they were winning money, and now you tell us they was a wrong one. Oops. Excuse me. Now I'm upset. About what? You pick on me. <laughs> I didn't pick on you. Are Steph and Triple H getting a divorce? I don't know. The rumors. rumors but you know, there's around. rumors every day on the internet about a lot of things, Granny. Not our business. And the owner of the grocery store was rumored to have a goat's stomach after an operation. I beg your pardon? The, yeah. The, a goat stomach transplant. Yeah. Transplanting yeah. goat stomachs into poor people may end hunger. What? Because they can eat cans? They can eat grass. How about that? Yeah, I'm sure the poor people were thrilled to hear about this well, idea. Well, I mean, a human could eat grass. Not really. Anyway. <laughs> Even okay. Sean's like, what? That's the stupidest thing I ever heard. <laughs> My mother let me go to the movies with a 20-year-old man when I was only 13. <laughs> That's hmm. all for today. <laughs>
<laughs> well, end on a high note. I was waiting for the perfect moment to make a sticky joke again, but yeah, Brian that Rapp's just show. really wasn't uh, what I was expecting. Yeah. Mortimer Plum Tree. Don reminds us we have not seen him since the Johnsons unloaded him in week three. Excuse me. Excuse <laughs> what? Us. What? Would you rather be sticky or? <laughs> Finally, I've been waiting. Yeah. The wrestling gods pulled two names out of a hat and gave me the following match. Jeff Jarrett versus Ray Phoenix. So Cole has limped up to Long Island to visit his friend Max on Daddy Friedman's boat. They catch Captain Insano, who is just floating in the water off Long Island. They reel him in, and they all share beers together. This was a masterpiece. So uh, Nick Jackson goes to the building, and he's presuming he's not wrestling, so he didn't bring his gear. Mm. Even though you're supposed to always bring your gear. You would think. They say, hey, we got an idea for today. You're going to do a three-way. He has no gear. Apparently, they have, like, bins of stuff. <laughs> and uh, okay. so there was, like, a pair of, you know, wrestling shoes or something that he hadn't worn in, like, years. And an old pair of trunks. I guess he had Kenny Omega's knee pads. He put an outfit together. Sure. We then had a promo segment longer than Roman Reigns' entire title reign. Adam Cole explains. His ankle has exploded. He broke it in three different places. He t also tore ligaments. He has to go get surgery. They're finally doing something with Jay White. He's going to challenge MGF, but not on Wrestle Dream. So they gave up like one sixth of their show here, of the go home show, to plug a match that is not happening on the pay per view this Sunday. So we go from that to more talking. Somebody noted that her eye was made up the way that, you know, people's eyes get made up before they join the House of Black. Mm -hmm. That sounds like. Booking malpractice to turn Willow Nightingale heel. It's been booking malpractice where they've done with her since she won that tournament, so wouldn't change their match. Hangman's promo was about CM Punk. I see. He was explaining that he was in a deep depression because of everything involving CM Punk, and every time he felt better, Punk would say or do something that would ruin his day and ruin his month, and now Punk is gone, and he's still around, and he has realized that he needs to be the old hangman again for these fans. I am not giving anybody any inside information because I have absolutely no earthly idea where this is going. What if the five guys in masks were the kingdom, Adam Cole, and MJF? Indeed. And in fact, these two fuckers are both heels. They are both planning mm -hmm. to take this place over. And they are... Trying to convince you that one or the other is going to turn on the other. Tony D and Stax, they have invited the challenging tag teams to join them out for dinner. And they're all going to sit down, have a meal, and talk about who's going to challenge for these titles at the, uh, the PLE. I swear to God, I was watching this fucking match trying to take notes, and it was a fucking whirlwind. Ah! I slam him down, and they jump up. Ah! We were sorry. Ah! And he throw a stomp, bah, 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 it's everything. It was like Muppets fighting. Very big, giant, scary Muppets, but Muppets nonetheless. Trick Williams needs to beat Dom and win the North American title. Carmelo needs to lose the NXT title to Ilya Dragunov. This is what causes Carmelo to flip his lid and turn on Trick. It was supposed to be Ali. And if they do what I think they should do... God bless Ali, but this is a million times better. And as you know, to God bless Ali, but the most famous stuff he did was to be scheduled for big matches and not be in them. And what happened instead was awesome. Because <laughs> that's what happened to Kofi Mania, right? That's right. That was Kofi Mania. Yes. The world's most obvious vignette errors of a young man watching Cincinnati Bengals football and uh, WCW Saturday night. Who could this be? Who could this be? I'm not a fan of contract signings. The one on Dynamite was very good, and this one here turned out awesome. But then it's to the back, where Corbin and Braun are fighting again. Yeah, Dave said this was a great brawl. He was wrong. But overall, this was a very, very good episode of NXT and a very, very good episode of Dynamite. So we've been on a streak lately. It's been a great uh, late summer here.